So if you're like me, you've already looked at tens of videos out there for how to build a pallet compost bin. And uh, I'm no different from the others, except that really I kind of mixed all of those ideas into one. Uh, I'm a homeowner. As you can see, I have neighbors behind and across. And so there was a few rules that I had to follow through with. And that's important for someone to point out. No one ever brought it up in the videos, but unfortunately there are some homeowners associations that are kind of anal to the point where maybe you can't build one. So you might want to find out first before you go into the project. Following through though, because I wanted to make sure I wouldn't have any issues from my neighbors, if you look right there, that's where it is. It's not very prevalent, and I did it on purpose. This is my version of how to build a compost bin. I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly, so if you have any questions, comment me, email me. I might miss something and you wanna know about it, and I will do everything in my power to make sure I educate you. I just don't wanna waste your time with this video. First things first, it took four pallets to make this structure you're looking at right now. There's the four pallet and then the three around. One thing that I wanna point out is right here, you notice that I did the outside pallets on the outside of the main flooring model. The other thing I wanna point out is that the only thing that's actually putting all of this together is that angle bracket right there. There's one on the bottom over here and then vice versa on the other side. And that is it. That is the whole rigidity of the structure of this. But, because I didn't want my neighbors to see all of this, because to me, that is a beautiful composting start right there. Mmm, beauty. But you know what? To anyone else, that looks like trash in a box. So I created this door. It latches on right here, and there's one on the bottom, and it basically hides it. Now, this is going to be painted black eventually, too, so that it follows through with the rest of the color scheme that I'm trying to follow through with. Why did I paint it black? Well, it's the reason why I started the video with myself all the way over there. I wanted you to see that it's not very easy to see when it's back of the yard. Just trying to be nice to the homeowners around so that way they don't have to look at a giant, you know, trash bin for grass and stuff. Following through, the chicken wire was pretty easy to put on. Um, believe it or not, you can actually get chicken wires at the proper width of the actual pallet. So all you do is spread the chicken wire on, use a staple gun, and bam, you got everything put together when it comes to actually putting that on there. A few details when it comes to the actual compost itself. Remember, green and brown is fine, but nothing animal, nothing dairy. Chicken eggs are fine, but you have to wash them out. Uh, you just don't want to have anything that can go rancid inside of there because that's where the stinking comes from. Now, for any reason, this brown and green mix stinks. That's just because there's too much water in there. Easy fix. Get some soil, get some old compost, get some dead leaves, whatever. Stick it in there and stir it, and within that day, that stink goes away because what's causing the dead smell is just the bacteria that's anaerobic. And in essence, you just need to stir it a little bit more often. So once every three weeks, once every month, it's not a bad deal. If you have any questions when it comes to the development of this, all you have to do is send me a comment and I'll answer anything. Uh, again, I wanted to make this overly simplistic because I know that you already have an idea in your head just like I did. This was not complicated. It, it took me a week to do and the reason why was I was being a little lazy on the painting aspect of it. Thank you very much and I hope that this was educational.